Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Selenium server with your C sharp test. So make sure that you have created one Selenium C sharp project in your Visual Studio and also downloaded Selenium server standalone from official Selenium HQ website. You can download this jar file and then put it into one of the dry or directories. In my case, it is right here in D apps. And I'm going to copy this file name. Okay, now coming back to the project, you need to make sure that you are calling using openqa.selenium.remote, okay? Also, you're calling for openqa.selenium, then using openqa.selenium.chrome. If you're calling for Chrome, if you are calling for Firefox, then you don't need to specify anything because remote web driver will by default open Firefox instance. Okay, so inside static void main method, you can type in I web driver driver equals to here you type in new remote web driver. Okay, now inside that type in new URI. Okay. So new URI and for that method you specify HTTP then 127.0.01 then 4444 and then WD slash hub. So we are basically calling hub and then desired capabilities dot Firefox if you want Chrome, you can do that as well. So let's keep it simple with Firefox. Okay. After that, let's navigate. Okay. To something like google.com. Okay. So I'm going to type in here google.com. here let's specify one title test string dot title equals to driver title and then console dot write title and console dot read to pause the output okay make sure that all errors are removed here instead of get it should be go to URL okay so all errors are removed now what we have to do is we have to create hub instance so open command prompt go to the directory where you have downloaded that jar file then type in Java slash jar then paste the file name dot jar and then create the instance of selenium server Okay, so sorry, I didn't check the directory. Okay, so let's start the instance. And here you see the URL 127.0.0.1.4.4.4 slash WD slash hub. Same URL is used here inside our C sharp test as well. Okay, now create one more command prompt instance here go to the file or you can also execute from your visual studio itself which is more quicker in my opinion so go to start and see the output okay it will first start one command prompt instance and then it will call for firefox if you have used Chrome 
in de desired capabilities then it will start chrome instance okay, then it will take you to google.com and on your command prompt check that you are getting the page url at the end of your test if it gives you that title that means your test is passed okay it will take some time to load the page completely and then it will show that string value okay so here you see google so that means your test is passed you can now close command prompt and firefox instance okay so you can pause your video and go through the code also check the classes that i have called and then execute your own